Most of these I'm getting either at Goodwill or on discount, like clearances. So I have some loose comics up here. Um, I think I got these from... I don't think it was their Comic-Con here, but it might have been. Um, right, Universe of Blaze, which I guess is a Teen Titans thing. Yeah, not sure, but it's there. Then I have a, like, trance CD on top. So let me uh, put these up in a certain place real quick, just so we can keep going. Okay. <clears throat> Lost Raven is on the front of this. Uh, I guess a stack of books. Haven't read it. Um, Batman Nightfall number three. Need number two to get the sequence going. Um, but I think that was a, on a really good sale for like five bucks. Uh, Dark Knight Returns, which is like the six continuation of the Batman and um, Robin All-Star book from up here. That I was saying was really controversial. But the art on the front of this is like... I've never seen this before outside of this... Uh, soft cover. So I think this is like an older print, but I'm like super happy with that cover. I think it looks really cool. Uh, let's see, Batman Master of the Future. Uh, I don't like the art on the front, but it was cheap. Uh, so we got Blackest Night, which is like the whole, I guess, trade paperback story version of it. I have Brightest Day number one again, so I actually have a duplicate, I didn't realize. So <laughs> that's really good to know. I wonder how that happened. Uh, Blackbeard kind of has some interesting art. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Dynamite, but looks kind of good. Infinite Crisis. I actually really like this game. It was like the DC Comics MOBA. Um, so I'm trying to get like all the comics and everything for it. It had some really cool, like, I think Robin as a vampire, not just Batman. It was like really fun. He had said like a blink dagger from Dota or um, like Flash from Lee. You had a Speed Force battery. <laughs> it was such a good idea. I wish they would bring it back. Uh, this is Iron Fist, I think it's volume one of like the collections Marvel does. I haven't read it yet, but I got it for a really good price. I think like, I want to say 10 bucks. And I was on an Iron Fist kick because like this is, I got this about the same time that the uh, Netflix series started up. And I actually really liked how that the first season went, to be honest. Um, I haven't watched any of the second season, but I like the first. We have Marvel, Marvel Adventure Spider-Man. I've had this book forever. Um, since, like, gosh, I was in elementary school. Probably, like, third grade. Um, the art's pretty cool in it, actually. It has, like, miniseries kind of sequences where, you know, one, one comic he's fighting Green Goblin, and then the next it's Venom, the next it's Electro, and it's all self-contained, so it's really cool. X-Men Evolution. I really like the art style of this as well. Um... I never watched it as a kid, but it definitely screams like early 2000s, which is kind of a vibe I like to, I guess, um, you know, absorb media really <laughs> into. Uh, Midnighter number one, haven't actually read it. Moon Knight from the Dead, which I think is the one, yeah, this one here. I've read this one, this one's really good actually. Um, priming yourself for Moon Knight before the uh, Disney Plus series comes out is probably a good idea. Nightwing, Night of the Owls, which is the second book in this New 52 series. Uh, Hellblazer 1 and 2. Um, I read the first one a lot. The second one I don't remember off the top of my head. But the Hellblazer so it's like uh, TV series, just Constantine, was really like next level in my opinion. Um, I know he came back for like Legends of, Legends of Tomorrow, but I really liked his solo series for the one season it had. Identity Crisis, paperback. Bone, number one, eight and nine. Haven't read any of it, but kind of want to get the entire Bone collection, if I'm being honest. I like the the uh, art on it. Uh, Lucifer, book one. Uh, Lucifer, double, Devil in the Gateway. Um, Martian Manhunter, Epiphany, or Epiphany, which is like the new 52, Martian Manhunter. Surprisingly good, actually. Um, the art on the front is, like, insane. It's like bio, like uh, Martian biology, but it's in Martian, so <laughs> it's like so cool. Uh, we got Marvels, which I got for 25 cents at a library uh, like sale. Uh, the art is by Alex Ross, and it is just like the best art you'll probably see for any any book. Marvel Zombies number one, Marvel Zombies. I think that's Battle World. Um, really good series. I highly recommend. Uh, I think it's available at like most libraries on their app Hoopla, which is like 
put in your library card information. You can, uh, you know, rent the books digitally. But Marvel Zombies is like super easy to follow. It's a really good starter, in my opinion. Uh, just JSA, Thy Kingdom Come, which is I think a spinoff of Justice, or sorry, King, uh, Kingdom Come, which is actually the next book here. Uh, both have art by Alex Ross as well. Supergirl, uh, I think this is just another cheap one. It's a New 52 one. I think it's a number one. No, it's like number two or three, uh, but yeah, I haven't read it. The Arkham Knight books, I think I'm missing a few, but I want to get all of these. Um, I'm actually repl replaying through Arkham Knight despite platinuming it like three times. Um, the universe that's set up is like just straight up one of my favorites like ever, so gotta get the graphic novels. And it's, it's kind of interesting actually. Um, I think it's the second one here. Uh, like the uh, Flash's like rogues kind of come into play, which is kind of crazy. Like Weather Wizard makes an appearance, so that's kind of cool. It ties into the continuity. Uh, Fable, War and Pieces, which is like number 11 in the graphic novel line for that. Fantastic Four, Fall of Fantastic Four, which is the number one. I think it's when Human, Human Torch dies, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> Fear Itself, which had some really cool ca uh, costume designs. Fear Itself Spider-Man, which is still in its plastic. Uh, Final Crisis, Rogue's Revenge. I want to say that's like probably the most detailed Rogue story I can think of. Um... I want to say it's the one where, like, is it Trickster or Captain Boomerang kind of goes off and breaks the Rogue's code, and uh, Captain Cold gets, you know, after them or whatever, but I think that's what it is. It's a good one. Titans Hunt, haven't read yet. Transformers, more than meets the eye. I was recommended to buy it, and I did, and then I never actually read it. Uh, Wolverine, Blood Hungry, Blood Hungry, haven't read that one. Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, this is like the, uh, not quite the Marvel Now stuff, but it's the one where he has, like, uh, Parker Industries. It's actually pretty good, it picks up right after Superior Spider-Man. Um, the art's really good too. Uh, Batman and Robin, Robin Rises is the top one here. I actually have it signed, I believe. Or it should be signed. Yeah, there it is. Yep, I got it signed by, I want to, I think it was Tomasi, Peter Tomasi. Spider-Man Big Time, which is like actually, I got this one at Walmart, believe it or not. Um, just to actually kind of show you what I'm talking about in better detail. So that's number two. Then number one is like, yeah, kind of hard to see. Then Big Time is like actually in this book as well. Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide, which I think is also in the number one. So I have like trades of trades. Um, this is an Iron Man, I think, poster book, which ties into the 2008 movie. Um, I haven't touched this too much, and I don't really plan to. But cool to have. Uh, season 11, Smallville, uh, which is, I think, where Batman makes an appearance. And I should actually take a break real quick and charge this battery. All right, so when I left off before my battery died last, I think we we're looking at ah right here. So <clears throat> I think we talked about the Smallville book, how it's supposed to be like an introduction for Batman. He never appeared in the TV series, but he did in the comics, and that's I guess the one where it starts. Um, oh yeah, so I got this Lucas Arts Classic Adventures. I guess it means a guide, but um, it's got you know the old point and click. Uh, what was a scum VM or scum games I think um, yeah I thought it was a really cool collector's book so that's what that's there it shouldn't be in the comics but it is <laughs> Iron Man Hyper Velocity I actually spent a long time trying to find this book um, the reason why is because someone posted I think a question on like some forum um, I remember seeing where it's like what if Iron Man died in the suit and they're like read hypervelocity it's kind of the same thing and hypervelocity is I think he's stuck in his suit so it took me forever to find a copy of this but I finally did um, after that we got uh, like an old classic Hawkman book this is a f book I got for five bucks um, I'm not the biggest fan of Hawkman but um, I don't know it just had some, some serious flair to it so I will say I did like his new 52 uh, incarnation. That's one of the books I actually have to buy at some point. 
Okay, so after that, we have Ultimate X-Men. And this is Ultimate X-Men number two. We have a, like, yearly graphic novel list. This is 2015 for DC Comics. Those are actually kind of cool to look at. Um, I got two for 2017 as well. I think my brother got one, and then I ended up getting one as well. Uh, Unknown Soldier is a showcase book. I haven't read it. Um, I know this character was, like, referenced in, like, an episode of The Flash, I think. Um, other than that, I mean, the Unknown Soldier is ironically pretty unknown today's day and age. So then I got this Thor book. I think it's Thor Worldwide. Looks very, like, 90s-ish, <laughs> I guess. Um... I have the Secret of the Ooze graphic novel, or I guess comic rendition of it. The art looked kind of cool on the cover, and then I remember watching it a bunch as a kid, and I'll probably never watch it again as an adult, but having the book is still kind of cool. Faster Than Light. I haven't read it yet, but it looks good. I think I got that one in a contest. Black Panther, A Nation Under Our Feet. This is actually like available on just about anything now, like I think even Prime Reading has it for free. Uh, this is like a Marvel Guide uh, book. It's an older one for sure. Uh, Avengers, Avengers World. Don't know too much about this one. I think I only got it because it was like three bucks. Sandman, Preludes and Nocturnes, and then Doll's House. Um, eventually I want to get the whole Sandman collection. And then like the, uh, I think it's Absolute Sandman. But those books, if I'm not mistaken, I probably am, are like $150 each. But that's something I want to do eventually. Uh, Secret Invasion. Uh, I think it's different than Secret Wars, which is what we've seen the two copies of so far. Uh, this is Dakin? Dakin? Dark Wolverine. Um, I have never actually read this one. But um, Justice Year, God's Among Us, Year 5. It, um, it's still in this plastic. I ended up reading it online. Sandman Overture. Um, haven't read it here. I read this one online as well, but I definitely want to crack this one open because I like the cover of it. And, uh, you know, see the art first hand, I guess. Uh, this one's interesting. Tales of the Dark Knight, Batman's First 50 Years. It's more of like a compendium of, like, different stuff across the first 50 years of Batman rather than, like, actual comics. Um, so it's not really a comic per se, but it's, like, more like a comic history thing. Uh, Flash, Brave and the Bold. It's like a crossover with Green Lantern. There's the other two JMS Spider-Man books. And then Spider-Man Back in Black, which is arguably one of my favorite <laughs> Spider-Man comics, like, ever. Um, the art is just unreal. I, I mean, the story I didn't really care for as much as I should have, but the art it just makes up for it a whole bunch. Uh, 